Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back here with another video. So it looks like Pierre Pauly, I was going to be bringing another um, a vote of non-confidence motion in the House of Commons next week. Uh, here's a video, just a quick video of him uh, talking about that. The reason I fast forward through the first minute or so is just because the first part was in French, but we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, but before we do, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. And also don't forget to leave your comments just because I do enjoy uh, engaging with you guys as well. So let's get into this video and then we'll talk about it after like usual. of this NDP Liberal government. They've doubled the debt, doubled housing costs, caused the worst inflation in 40 years, sent 2 million people to the food bank, unleashed crime and chaos in our communities. That's why it's time to put forward a motion for a carbon tax election. A carbon tax election needed because the NDP Liberals plan to hike the carbon tax by 300%, all the way to 61 cents a liter, which would cripple our economy, put hundreds of thousands of people out of jobs, mean empty shelves at grocery stores. We need a carbon tax election so Canadians can vote to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime with a common sense conservative government. Hasn't the block the no, I finished, If I could just finish. Um, the uh, decision will be up to uh, Jagmeet Singh and the NDP. Are they going to vote to keep this costly carbon tax prime minister in power? Are they, going to, are they going to sell out again? Or are they going to vote to trigger a carbon tax election so that Canadians can choose to ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime? And I also call on the NDP, don't wait for the bloc bail you out. You need Announce your them, position you? on this motion to trigger a carbon tax election now. You have the motion, it's in your inbox, we're emailing it to him now, and all of you will have that motion for a carbon tax election, which you'll see is very direct, very simple, and provides Canadians hope that we can bring home the country that we knew and loved, where we ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop Monsieur the Monsieur <laughs> Okay, so you see um, close to the end there how one supporter, sorry, one reporter did ask Pierre Polyev, you know, don't you need the bloc uh, to also vote with you? Now, the answer to that is yes. It's not enough for the NDP alone just to vote with the Conservatives. If the bloc does vote with the Liberals, we're not going to get enough for a, for a vote of non-confidence to trigger an election. Now, that being said, like Pierre Polyev said, he thinks that Jugmeet Singh is going to wait for the bloc to say no, and then he'll have an excuse as like, oh, well, it wouldn't happen anyway, so I'll just vote with Trudeau. That's why Pierre Polyev said, you have it now. You can We can go through it, and then we'll have the vote next week, and you can decide if you've actually left the coalition with Trudeau. If Jugmeet Singh did truly leave the coalition, he will vote with the Conservatives and let Canadians decide who they want to have as their next Prime Minister. Whether the bloc votes with the Trudeau uh, with the Trudeau Liberals or not, this is right now an opportunity for Jugmeet Singh to not show that he is an absolute liar and a coward, because apparently what he's trying to do to show he's not a coward is confront a civilian with cops around to protect him. That's him showing that he's a tough guy. Well, listen, tough guy, you want to show that you're not a coward and that you're not a liar. Vote with the Conservatives. Jugmeet Singh, you've, you've even said this yourself. It's between you and the Conservatives, right? According to you, the Liberals are out of the picture. Great. So have the battle with Pierre Polyev. Call an election. We'll see what happens, right? Canadians want it. So we'll see what you do. Or are you going to just cower behind the block and say, well, I didn't vote for it because there's no point anyway. No, the point is to show that you're not a liar and a coward. And to stop holding Canadians hostage. If you vote with Pierre Polyev and the bloc decides to vote with Trudeau, well, that's on the bloc then. The NDP could say, listen, guys, we tried. I told you the coalition was over, and I was right, and I'm not a coward, I'm not a liar, I'm voting with the Conservatives. The bloc blocked it. Nothing I can do. Now, uh, Yves Blanchette, who is the uh, the leader of the bloc, he did say earlier today, I believe there was an interview, where he said that he has no confidence in Justin Trudeau. So when this vote of non-confidence comes up, if Yves Blanchette decides to vote with Trudeau, he's clearly a liar. 
He said it literally, I have no confidence in Justin Trudeau. So he should be voting with Pierre Polyev as well. So let's see if the NDP leader and the bloc leader are cowards and, and liars or not. And we'll find out shortly ne- next week. I'm not sure of the exact date that they're going to have this, but it definitely will be happening next week because that is, I believe, the earliest time that they can put forward this motion. So when they do, we'll find out who the liars are, who the cowards are, who the traitors are. We already know there's some traitors. Don't know exactly who because a certain prime minister won't release or declassify the files or at least tell us who it is, which he has the power to do. Which, by the way, we still need to focus on that and we, we need to we need the list of the 11 traders and we also need to know if there's even more than that or not. Because if that's the case, then I mean, they've all committed trees and they need to be they need to be uh, abolished from politics forever at the very least. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help grow this channel. And please also don't forget to leave, leave your comments. I do really uh, enjoy engaging with you. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys. And I'll be back shortly with a new video.